In this video, let's see the first numerical problem based on the concept of differentiation using trigonometric substitutions. The question has been asked in a state board examination in the year 1993 and the question says if y is equal to secant inverse x plus 1 upon x minus 1 plus sin inverse x minus 1 upon x plus 1 for x greater than 0, you have to find dy by dx. Now you see this is a hybrid question. It involves the trigonometric functions in the inverse form that means inverse trigonometric functions as well as dy by dx is written that means it is a differentiation question too. So for these type of questions definitely you need to know the formulas that we have studied in the previous chapters. Since it is based on inverse trigonometric functions please refer to the inverse trigonometric functions videos chapter 2 of class plus 2. Now, the question is again I uh, illustrate that it has secant inverse and sine inverse and they are in addition and you also see that here in the bracket is x plus 1 upon x minus 1 here it is x minus 1 upon x plus 1 that means only the reciprocal difference is there. So that means what if at all these inside brackets become equal and one you have is sine inverse. Somewhere we have in our mind this formula sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. In order to apply this formula we have to see how we can apply in this question. I write the heading as solution and let's start with the solution. You see here it is secant inverse. What is the reciprocal of secant inverse? Cos inverse. So can we not write y is equal to cos inverse x minus 1 upon x plus 1? from the knowledge of inverse trigonometric formulas that yes secant inverse and cos inverse the only changes to be made like this rest everything applies and then do not forget to copy sin inverse x minus 1 upon x plus 1. Now you see that the brackets are same can we not apply this formula sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi by 2 yes we can now apply this formula so this is 1 and I say using 1 using 1 my y becomes equal to pi by 2 because the value of these two things in addition give me pi by 2. But is that what needed to be find out? No. Because dy by dx was needed to be found out not y only. So now let us differentiate it with respect to x. So what is dy by dx? Pi by 2 being a constant its differentiation with respect to x is 0. So the answer is 0. Now see we must not be only aware of the concepts which we have started in differentiation in order to go about the questions but the previous chapters as well. So always in mathematics keep revising whatever you study so as to improve in a better manner.